What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing in and welcome back to Devil May Cry. Right, I need 43 for my blue orb. Is there achievement for getting a purple orb? I don't know. I could look on the list online. You know what, let's go do that right about now. Is there secret missions in this level? Yes, there is two. No, I'm sorry, there's only one secret mission. It is in here, apparently, and I need to cross the bridge. This is a secret mission, apparently. Without being a secret mission at all. I don't fucking know. Do I have to... F can I not fall? I fell. I fell. Good job, me. Good job for failing fucking miserably. We're gonna have cigarosos or we're gonna have to have... Thingies. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, he's coming in fast. He is coming in quick. And fast. There we go. Boop. Bip. And bip. Don't know why I've got Alistair equipped. Bip! Alistair's not my baby anymore, is he? No, if it's my baby now, I've ditched Alistair. I don't ditch Alistair that much, to be honest. Right, apparently I have to go this way. What does it mean, go through this door to get the secret mission? Is that what was happening? Because nothing's happening, game. Nothing is happening. What the fuck is this, then? Does it want me to, like, cross the bridge? I don't know. Okay, let me just actually read this across then. Okay, activating the secret mission is a pain, as you only get one shot at it. If you fail to trigger it or you fail to meet the objective, you'll have to reload from your last save point to try again. But if you're up for the challenge, right, Devil Hunter? In mission 17, you should start at the far end of the broken bridge. Instead of jumping through the portal, make your way back to the cathedral. Okay, make your way back to the cathedral where you first encounter Phantom. If you fall into the water, you will not trigger the mission. If you have trouble jumping across, you can always use Air Raid with Alistair when you land on the far side. The mission should trigger. Great. So I've got to go back to the main fucking mission then, have I now? Good. Good job, me. This is going to be one of those that's going to take a while, isn't it? Of course. Well, thank you for letting me know what the secret mission is game. And plus, I don't need to actually load it up. So that's okay then. Now I know what I need to do. Do I have enough to do... I do not have enough to do this. Well, this is going to be a problem then, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh dear. Fuck. <laughs> By me. You fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up, kid. Well, uh, let's try that one again. I could just put the secret mission there where it's easier to fucking get to, you know? Don't fuck me up like that. Fucking stupid game. Alrighty then. Let us try again. Shall we? Might take a while for us to get there, but we'll get there eventually. Right. One last try. As you heard, my phone vibrates, so I need to deal with that too. Right. Bit. Bit. Oh god. Oh god. This is scary. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Ah, wow. Jesus Christ. Acquire the blue gem that's in the sky. With this? What the fucking hell is it? I don't know, but... It... Right, so how do I get this then? Do I have to go up? Do I use him to get up there? Or do I use air raid? Or do I just keep on jumping up? I don't fucking know. Where is the blue ore? Can you help me get up to it? I don't know where it is. Oh, God. What happens if I fall? Do I fail? Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I go on top of this first and then... lunge across? Or do I... I don't know where the blue orb is, to be honest. Is it in front of these things? I can't really see it, dude. I cannot really see it. Can you help me get up there, boy, please? Right, come on. Come on. Use me as a lift. Use me as a lift. There we go. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. No, don't push me in the water. You fucking asshole. You. You light boys. Great. Now I've got to fucking restart the mission again. And deal with more fucking bullshit. Great. Now I don't know where the blue orb is, though, so that's good. It's just going to be a pain in my ass to do this. Because I've got to try and get across the bridge without dying. So, I will see you after I have obtained the blue orb. And to make sure that I'm not actually skipping out the blue orb, because I need it for an achievement, so you know I'm not going to be skipping it out. It's just so that we can get along with the mission, what I want to do. So, let's give it one more good old... Never fucking mind, never fucking mind. It doesn't matter... We fucked it up. 
but I will obtain this. If it is the last thing I do, I will obtain this blue orb. I thought the last one was the freaking blue orb in the sky, but no! It had to be the annoying one where it's like, nope, you fucked up, you can't do it now. But why? Did you just give me the fucking mission? Unless it can be done by just crossing the bridge without failing. That would be a cool thing to do. But no, the game's like, uh, you need to do it properly or else you fucked up. Like then, fuck me. Oh, I don't like that. Right, reset. Okay, I'm just going to jump across now to want to actually get the blue orb. So, boop. Well, would you believe me that if I said that took 40 fucking minutes to obtain this freaking fragment of a blue orb? Just because I couldn't do it. I couldn't jump. I couldn't get across the bridge half the time and the guy kept on hitting me into the river. I knew what I had to do though, just get my devil trigger up and then just fly across to the other side. It seemed to work, so I did it that way. So that was all over and fucking horrible, horrible to do. But we're not done. We are not done. This has been the longest Devil May Cry video just because of that fucking blue stupid fucking orb. Oh my god, I'm so angry. I can't, I, I can't even fathom the freaking rage inside me right about now about this. It, it's horrible. It really, really is. Oh well, the show must go on, as we all, as we all know. So it's going to be uh, just a nice adventurous time now. I don't think there's much left to do. I know there's another blue orb in the fucking area, or in the level, but it's, I feel like it's an easier one. Oh dear, I've got to shoot my grenade launcher. That's the thing I've got to do. That doesn't sound good. And I've got to do it. Oh well, let's get myself working around here then, shall we? Because now the freaking doors and portals don't exist. That's fun. Was there a door there? Wait, do we, can I examine where the door was? No, okay. Never mind then. Oh, wait, was that upstairs? No, it was not upstairs. Alright. This level's just done it, done it in for me. Really has done it in. You know, I don't even want to use freaking Alistair no more. Alistair's just like... Alistair's the one that can take me to new heights. If I need to go to new heights. But if not, then it's just going to be like... I'm just going to stay down here and... Oof. Fight my way through every, all my problems next time. That was a tough cookie. That was a tough cookie. Right. Can we get our portals up, please? Do I have to fight... Okay, I know where that is. That's above the court. That's above the courtyards. I don't want to go this way though. I do, but then blue orbs in the dragon room. Yep. Dragon room it is. Okay, where's this? I think this is the courtyard where you fight Phantom. Oh great, frosts! I should be able to deal with these fastly because they've got like the ice element of my ifrit. So these shouldn't be too hard to fight, and these are in Devil May Cry 4 too. Alright, bitches, let's fucking throw down, boys. Do you feel like you can beat me today? Or am I gonna have to show you who's fucking boss around, the, around this area? You're like a frozen um, thingy, aren't you? What do you call them? A frozen. A frozen blade. That's what they are. I couldn't think of the word for a second there. Right, give me that, give me that, give me that. Let me go in here. They were easy. Hey then. Let us go to new heights. Now I've just I just didn't even my freaking vocabulary for this freaking mission just gone now because that took so long just to get to the freaking mercury part of the level, let alone the rest of it. Cause I'm gonna spend freaking a few minutes trying to get that fucking thing. And plus, this video is gonna be choppy anyway because my, while I was fucking 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 fuck, I lost my train of thought. Lost my for. Well, it says it's in the uh, dragon room, but I need, like, a grenade launcher on a wall somewhere. I went back on myself, didn't I? Of course I did. I got turned around. Oopsie doodle. Right, let's go this way then. I think- I know I need to bust out Alistair again for the dragon. Oh, hello. Haha. Fucking- why is fire hurting me when I'm using Ifrit? Fire- it shouldn't it give me, like, a power boost or a heal? Or anything like that? Did they change that in later games? So I know in- like I've mentioned in number two before, when you got Devil Trigger in Firefall, you can heal up nicely. Devil May, Cry, Devil May Cry 2 may not be the most favored of the of the technically five games, soon to be six. But for me, I liked it. I like it a lot. There's some missions that I can like, ugh, I can't be bothered to fathom it, so I just like try and ignore it as best I can. 
Like the first mission is quite shit, the second mission is quite boring, but after that, you get a pretty nice decent run. Pretty nice decent run. Right, where is this fucking thing? Okay, so it's in this room. To the right hand side of the upper level with the dragon after you get the after I get the quicksilver. Okay. I'm good at this, watch. Boink. Never mind, I'm not good at this at all. Right. This is gonna take some time. But I'm ready. But I'm ready for it. Bit. Nailed it. That's one. I have to do this in number three as well. A number two, sorry. The thing they didn't want to fucking put out, did they? Right. One more should blast him out. Let's try it. Ah, third time was not the charm. Thought I could smash him out one. There we go. Easy. Fucking... Now I need this to go get the Quicksilver. And this is going to help me break down a wall somehow, I think. Okay, so I need the Quicksilver first. And it's apparently somewhere to my right. Wait, I need my freaking white rep... The right weapon out first. So let me read this again. To the right side, on the upper level of the room with the dragon, after you get the Quicksilver. On the balcony area, just jump around shooting your grenade at the wall up there. You'll make the fragment fall. Oh, I think it's up here somewhere, actually. What's this? No, I don't know what this is. Maybe that? No? I remember. I re actually remember collecting There it is. There it is. I feel like this has something to do with it. Like, you shoot something into the distance and it... I don't know. That's just what I remember. I remember, I remember. I remember actually reading up about that one. So, that's why that one was like an easy one for me to do. Can I just go up there? I probably fucking can, but, you know. Okay, okay. I've got to go up the fucking crappy way, though, don't I, to get on these fucking platforms. I want to do it the easy way, but I can't. I've got to go up there. Go across there, like so. Where's the lightning bolt? Now you don't need to use thingy for this, Liz. A lot of this stuff, you don't need air hike for. I just prefer having it so I know what the fuck I'm doing. Makes things easier for me. Lightning bolt, please. Thank you. Right, yeah. I can do this now on my own. Boip. I forgot to do the fucking rotational bullshit. Oopsie fucking me. Who forgets to do this bullcrap? Really? Who forgets this? Who seriously forgets this? Okay, let's fix this shit. Slow rotations. Gotta do it nice and slowly. That freaking description there tells me what I need to do. There we go. Nice and simple. Now the Quicksilver should be ready for us to grab. Yay! Sorry about this video being very choppy. I am busy. I know it's harsh things to do, but it, it some things do have to be sorted out as well on the outside of life. So I know I shouldn't be like, oh, you shouldn't be recording while you're doing those other things. It's like, well, I thought I was able to do the video easily, but no, they had to get that one fucking mission in there that was just going to make me bloody useless. Or to render me useless because it was going to be a hard, hard fucking time. But nothing that freaking editing can't fix. So you're not going to be going for all the freaking bullshit I've had to wait up for. Nearly reaching, what, an hour now, I think? Perhaps. Can't even find the fucking file format. Yeah, reaching up an hour. Great. Okay, let's get some ifrit out of here. Now I've got the blobs in this area, though. So that's good. So I've got two, I believe, in this area. How much do we need? I need one more for a, a little, like, fragment. I know the last secret mission that I have to do gives me the final blue orb as well. So that's good. So that's two out of the way. So I need one more. So there's got to be then five more fragments, I believe. And then the last one, obviously, I get. Or the last two I need to get. Maybe three. Is one from the store. A second one from the store. Um, mission Secret mission 12 gives me, a, gives me a nice one to have and deal with. And then, from then on out, it should be good as gold. Alright, let's just fucking tank those hits and just fucking pulverize me into the ground into dust. My days. So, I was actually looking forward to doing Devil May Cry 4 after doing this game like I did say I was going to do. But, um, I found out only recently when the release date was for We Happy Few. 
I've not been really looking into it that much. I've seen a little bits and pieces and it looks a bit fucked up in the head. And now that it's actually got a release date, I want to look into it a lot more and see what all this freaking weirdness is about. So I'm going to pick it up. I might do. I might not beat the entire game depending on how I feel about it in the first few processes. But if I enjoy the game, I'll play more. Obviously, I'll do it as like the next main series and we can move on to Resident Evil 3. When that gets an at, when that gets beaten, and then we can move on to Devil May Cry 4. Which is all nice and fine handy dandy times. Which is great. Which is bloody great. Fuck. Well. Say goodbye to Nilo Angelos then, shall we? Oh, we get a fucking awesome weapon here, though. But I can't fucking change it. Fuck me. I like Ifrit, but Sparta's a really good bloody sword. A man with guts and honor. I like that. But it's a shame you serve Mundus. If you know the series like I do, this is basically him going Devil Trigger mode. Ooh. Ooh. Woo 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 woo. Go on then, Virgil, because you look a lot more like Virgil there. That's probably where I think he dawns it, isn't it? Right, Ifrit can take you fucking down, bitch, and I know it can. Because it's done it before a few times. Right, it clashes. I can go over his head, do some more fucking damaging. Obviously, Ifrit does all the damage when he's fucking taken on like a boss. Oh, summon swords. Summon swords. I forgot I had this weapon on for a second. Weapon. Oh, yeah, they're definitely Virgil's summon swords. If you played them. I like how they've got, got them in number three to let you know who this exactly is. So that's pretty fucking cool. For fuck's sake, I'm not very good at it though. Soon Virgil is. Soon Virgil is. There we go. Right, can we stun him though? Can we give him a stun lock? There we go. Get down on the floor, bitch. That's where you belong. That's where you belong, fucker. Right, you know what? Let's, do, let's make this a fucking sword fight. A real sword fight. I feel like I can move faster with um, Alistair too. I can do more lunges at least. Oh, fuck. Well, that's not going to help. Now, now he's got protection, is he? Okay. I'll just break through that and go bye-bye. Flinch, you motherfucker! Flinch! Okay, let's just sneak past you like so. Right, switch to Ifrit again to get my Devil Trigger up on it. Boop. Don't do them fucking moves, bitch. I know what they, they are. They're your freaking Beowulf stuff. Okay, two can fucking tango, bitch. Two can fucking tango. There you go. See, I can do the same moves as two, motherfucker. Right, this is the move I need to watch out for. Okay. Smacked him into the back of his head. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, avoided it. Very lovely. See, I've got to do this on hard as well, so... If I learn here how to do him in... There we go, he didn't get flinched. He didn't flinch. He did not flinch. So you need to try and like... There we go. There's me done. I'm out. Great. And now I've got to fight. I'm going to lose, aren't I? And I'm going to have to really do this all this entire mission again with the blue orbs and everything, aren't I? Not looking forward to it, you know. I'm really not. This is gonna be one harder deal. What do I use to fight him with? Let me get my guns out. I can do it. I might have to use... If I've got no blue orbs left, I might just have to um, use my items I have. I don't want to, but I might have to, you know. All right, let's fucking go, boy. See, I'm not dodging his attacks like I were... When I used Alistair, I wasn't dodging uh, Nilo's. Fucking hell, dude. What the fuck? This is probably one of the hardest boss fights in the game, to be honest. I find this a lot harder than the first one. Or the last one, sorry. Because he's just a douche. He is just a douche. Right, now I can fucking start fucking t turning up the heat a little bit. He's an orange. I'm an orange. Well, I'm he stays on orange anyway, because that's what he does. I'm gonna die again. That's what I know about. Right. Oh, I've not got no fucking Alistair powers either. Great. Wow. I got fucking obliterated that time around. I can do better. We can do better. We have done better. I can't die. If I die at this point, that's it. I've got to redo the mission. And I really don't fucking want to. So, it's an all-out battle. It's an all-out battle, unfortunately. I'm going to have to use some items on this one. 
I wouldn't normally do it, but because it's been such a long fucking video already, I don't want to do no more editing for today, because I've got to do all the fucking bullshit again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the untouchable. I've got holy water for him, but I don't really want to use that. Right, here we go, bitch. Fucking bring it on, motherfucker. You can't touch me, boy, so I'm going to have the upper hand. Am I unblockable too? No, I'm not unblockable. Okay, well, now I know. Okay, as soon as it runs out, though, that's me done. Well, probably not. I can get the upper hand on him, but... Maybe might use the next um, item when I'm out of this form? Perhaps? Okay, never mind. Or when I get down to my low... When I get down to my second green bar. Don't want to use no DT yet. Because he just, like, seems to be avoiding most of my attacks, which I'm... Like, this is why I don't prefer Alistair in this combat, because I can jump over his head and then just go for the stinger attack. But then he's really fucking me up, isn't he, with that move? Really don't want to deal with that anymore. Right. Okay. He's gonna fuck me up, isn't he? Hmm. What can we use? You know what? I'm gonna get closer and use the holy water, so I might just kill him. I am not too sure where he is. He in the sky? I'll use it about here. Oh, let's blast him out. Yeah, it fucking did him in. There we go. We shouldn't be using holy water like that, but still, it could fucking still kill me. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, he got he got greedy. I also got greedy. We both got greedy. And he is the one that got done in. There we go. Now we can get my thingy. So you just realized who it was. That just confirmed what they did to Virgil. He even says here. Trish, Virgil has been defeated. There you go. You know what you must do. Now go. Yes, master. See, why wasn't that in subtitles? I don't get it. But anyway, I am going to leave that there for today with this video of Devil May Cry. I do apologize for the choppiness of this video where it's cutting and cutting and cutting all the fruit all the time. I do apologize. It's not going to be like that for Spyro later on. I'm going to be a little bit more tame about it. Considering I've got time to record that today, so I should have more time for it tomorrow. Plus, I'm busy all the time. Apparently, it took 24 minutes. Not on my clock, it didn't, mate. So you can go fuck yourself. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. And I am going to leave you with Inside the Eye by Eyes Set to Kill. Enjoy. Is this why you call